Oh, man. Uh, to quote my friend uh, Jason Voorhees, 2011, this show is not fucking around anymore. This <laughs> this show just does not dick around anymore. This season has proved that, yeah, we can do the fun, campy stuff, but when we get into the main story, oh, boy, do we get into the main story. <laughs> yeah. So, this basically follows the revelation that, you know, follows more of the revelation that, you know, Pink Diamond was uh, the leader and commander of both Jasper and Rose Quartz, and it goes into what exactly, you know, Jasper meant by that, a little. And yeah, this also has the return of the Rubies, who have just been up in space, <laughs> have just been up in space and up in Neptune, where I like, once again, like I said, they probably had this Looney Tunes moment, where after they got tricked by, um, Steven to go to Neptune, they were like, oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. So oh, wait a minute. <laughs> At least that's how it goes in my head. Although they did say they checked every planet, so... <laughs> to do that in just what I would guess in several weeks, I guess that makes a lot of sense. Also, I love how much of a non-threat the rubies are taken, and yeah, they're literally... <laughs> Lapis is just like, I put them in timeout. <laughs> And also, I love when uh, Garnet's just like, oh, you're adorable. I think they realize as long as they don't fuse, they're fine. You know, they're no longer a threat. So they try to keep them split up as possible, as much as possible. But yeah, so yeah, they're here to look for Jasper. And yeah, for all of <laughs> Jasper, they could have just got Jasper and left <laughs> and just forgot about them. Um, anyway, so. Yeah, Amethyst, of all people, gets this idea to pretend to be Jasper and more or less find out why they're here and try to get them to leave once and for all. So, And from what, we under from what it looks like, Jasper was a war hero among the Homeworld Gems, especially the one called, uh, one, uh, called one Eye, or Eyeball, excuse me, the, one, the, the ruby called I uh, that Stephen called Eyeball. Um... Yeah, so it does look like Jasper was a considered a war hero, and she's even, even the rubies kind of worship her as like this um, great hero of the home of homeworld. And it's kind of weird because we've just been seeing her as this you know this monster more or less. But yeah, she you know he, there are heroes on both sides in every war, and like Greg said, there's no such thing as a good war. So yeah, it would make sense that you know in homeworld's eyes, Jasper was kind of like their... It was like one of their best soldiers. Anyway, so... Yeah, Jasper, you know... <laughs> Amethyst poses as Jasper to trick the rubies, and of course, um, we go back to the moon to discover, you know, more about... Well, a little more about what happened between Rose Quartz and Pink Diamond. It turns out... What happened was that, it, you know, it wasn't just all the diamonds who came down to Earth... It was just Pink Diamond at first. Pink Diamond was um, the one in charge of the console. She was the one in charge of like the command co the command base on the moon. And apparently, what had happened was that yeah, she was the one who set up the Earth you know the Earth um, base. She's the one who set up the Earth colony. But Rose rebelled against her, and yeah, Rose murdered Pink Diamond, and everyone knew. That's the kicker right there. Is that Everyone knew, uh, you know, Garnet and... Well, I don't think Amethyst knew, but Garnet and Pearl more than likely knew. And I'm also guessing that Pearl was Pink Diamond's Pearl. You know, she... Be you know, Pearl belonged to Pink Diamond. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's probably how it was. In fact, I'm pretty sure Pearl may have assisted or at least saw Rose, you know, murder um, Pink Diamond. You know, that was probably... <laughs> That's probably what happened is that she, you know... Pearl was her per was Pink Diamond's pearl, and what happened was she either assisted or at least witnessed the you know the sh you know Pink Diamond get shattered by Rose Quartz. We're starting to see, like I said earlier in the other review, in the previous uh, three episodes review, that we're seeing that Rose did some really dirty stuff in this war. We're not seeing her as this grand glorious leader. She did some really just nasty stuff um, in the war that she doesn't like to talk about. Um, yeah, and this is probably one of this is probably the uh, the highest level one of probably if not the highest thing on here. Um, so that's the you know that's the big crux of this episode is that we find out that Pink Diamond was you know there's a reason why there, that's probably the biggest reasons why the diamonds went to war and why they're so petty about you know at first I thought they were just being petty that they lost the war. Uh, no, 
They're probably more pissed off that one of their diamonds, probably w what they consider to be a sister, was murdered, and, yeah, <laughs> a member of royalty got into a war, you know, a member of royalty was assassinated, and it, and it sparks a whole civil war. That's happened in real life when, you know, one, you know, that's how we, that's how the, you know, a war started over a death of a royal, of a royal family member. Yeah, that's kind of how the First World War started, people. That's how, you know, our First World War started was the death of one guy, and it kind of sparked all this. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so with that, you know, with all that information, I'm wondering, you know, is Steve, you know, Stephen's going to be looking at his mother a totally different way now that he knows that his mother you know, something he never thought she was she would do is shatter someone. And that might actually affect why, you know, Rose and Bismuth had that falling out, because, yeah, she probably felt terrible for shattering someone. I would not put it past them that Rose felt terrible for shattering Pink Diamond. And, yeah, that's probably why she didn't want to use the breaking point that business, uh, Bismuth built. That might have, you know, shattering one person, you know, shattering, you know, your former master is probably going to leave, <laughs> and then be put upon this whole rebellion, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna leave you a little, uh, unstable there, buddy. So, yeah, that's probably the biggest reasons, because, yeah, I shattered some once, I don't, you know, I don't want to feel like a monster again, so we're not doing this. And that's pr sparked the, you know, yellow, blue, and, and white diamond to go, okay, let's go down there and destroy the place. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, that is a, you know... <laughs> Oh man! Also, you're probably if you're any. I should have mentioned this earlier in the review. If anyone's wonder, mention, wondering why I'm just using an image of Peridot, I'm just like, eh. I felt like using Peridot. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's a big thing right there. Is that Garnet and Pearl knew that she shattered? Um, you know, Pink Diamond shattered was shattered. Excuse me, was shattered by Rose Quartz, and they never told Stephen. And I can understand why, but. Yeah. Also, I find it um, to quote one of my one of my uh, someone here who uh, to quote someone on my uh, who who mentioned a who left a comment on the last episodes a few episodes review. It looks like it lo it's starting to look like Rose took school uh, took lessons from the Oliver <laughs> Oliver Queen School of Leadership in that you know be a hypocrite and you know say some important things like we don't kill and do the exact opposite. Yeah. But yeah, l being a leader is tough. Being a leader is tough, and sometimes you gotta do dirty shit to do it, you know. <laughs> but yeah, this um, this was a great episode, and it left us going, "Holy shit!" You know, Stevens out in space with the rubies. So I'm wondering where that's gonna go because I've seen, I saw one of the clips, and it does look like he's gonna be stuck with eyeball with the eyeball ruby, who was just worship Jasper, yeah. That's the amazing thing, is that, yeah, not only was did she worship Jasper, she was also part of the war. I'm wondering if she was part of the same group with, um... with, uh, Ruby. That, you know, our Ruby. But anyway. So you guys tell me, what did you guys think of this episode? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? And what do you think's in store for Steven and, uh, the Rubies in the next episode? Just, uh, comment below, let me know, and once again, hope y'all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.